doing, sir? I'm, right. I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing good. Um, what's your name? Well, it doesn't matter. No, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Okay, well, what's going on is we just came to the park and play, and they told us that we couldn't play at the park. Okay, so uh, did they explain to you that they got it rented out for the hotel? Did they explain to you that you can't actually rent the whole park because I've called the city, and that what they rented is the pavilion, so I actually checked the permit. Okay, I'm, I'm just, okay. Okay, so, so, so what's the problem? I'm, I'm trying to communicate with you. All right, I'm just asking what's the problem. That's a communication. Yeah. yeah. That was in Midlothian, Texas, I believe. Uh, these cops showed up at this normal day at the park, and one father was with his son. Why are the cops showing up asking him, what's your name, what are you doing here, and did you know that there's permits involved? Well, as you see, it's a little bit tense because that father wanted nothing to do with this because he was just trying to let his son play. So the offense that he apparently pulled off was being there with his kid and not having a permit. I'm not sure, I've never gotten a permit to go to the park with my kid. But the problem is, is there was a, a group there that wanted him to leave and they called the cops on him instead. Let's see all these teachers at this fifth grade, it was a fifth grade day trip at the park and they thought something was wrong with him being there with his kid because apparently it's only for them. Let's see how they try and figure out how to make this, uh, this argument somehow make sense. Watch this. I understand that you want to bring your son to the no. park, but we and, have, we, yeah. and I already talked to the city. I understand that. But hey, y'all, I don't know what school this is. You know her, she being super racist against my son, and they're going to send a black lady to come talk to me. No, so, so I'm a uh, teacher. Uh, 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 because I've already called the city, and we come to the park every day. So you can actually look on Midlow Park, and we can see. You can't so, legally video this. So, hey, I can, I'm putting it. Okay, you can say whatever you want. Hey. Get off me. Don't touch uh, me, woman. So, so don't touch you, me. But you, but you she can't. Can, I, I don't care. She can't. Yes, I ain't video on the kids. I'm you're, you're, she wasn't there. Hey, she can't touch you. You can call. You can call. Come on, call. Yes, sir. Okay. You're, you're absolutely right. All right. Come on. She can call. Okay. All right. Come on. We just don't need to ask. Come on. Hey, well, I guess it's escalated. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I think she saw that there was a bit of a mistake going on now that she's actually speaking to him, but it doesn't matter. The other folks were already on the phone with the cops saying a bunch of craziness. But by the way, again, this teacher group rented out the pavilion area at this park. His father showed up and they said, you gotta leave the whole damn park. I'm not sure whichever park they've ever been to, but I, that doesn't really make much sense. Uh, a little bit more here because while that teacher, or at least the last one that was talking to him, might have realized the mistake had been made, the others were still on the phone and they were definitely looking for cops to come track him down. Watch. Let me get. I'm 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 getting uh, bullied by the. By, by how old are you, sir? I'm on the phone with 911. How well, old call, are you? Call 911. That's fine with me. Call them. Call them, man. We, hey, as soon as they get here, I just, hey, we'll call right to City Park, and you can see that y'all, what y'all rented. Come on, man. African American man in a black it's, it's okay. tank top with don't, she said don't speak to him. Okay. okay. In an Herbalife 24 shirt, gray shorts, okay. cross. She has a two year old with him. Oh, she know the age of my son. Wow. All the assumptions in my. No, I didn't tell you his age. Because he's not two. Come on over here, Officer Hall. Come on, matter of fact, I think Officer Hall was over here earlier. Come on, uh huh, earlier this week. Okay. Oh wow, look at the aggression! I'm glad we got this. So she's beginning to get worried. We've seen these types of scenes before. So make sure the cops come over again. He's sitting there with his son, young son. He flashed for a second in the camera, and their issue was that he was filming. That's after they approached him and said, "Get the hell out of here! What are you doing here with a kid at the park where there's a playground?" Seems like the most normal thing in the world, which is why folks like him get surprised when they see someone roll up and say, "You don't get to be here." And when they say you don't get to be here, they wonder, why is it you think I don't get to be here? But then you do. But apparently he's the aggressive and angry one. As a matter of fact, the cops came up and relayed that message to him. This is what continued with the cops interaction. So, yeah, so, so the reason why, why I'm talking to you is because this is a aggressive. How am I being aggressive when they, that, this lady come up and bump me? I got it on camera, she come up and bump me. The other, like, then they send a black lady over here to try to act like I'm just being hostile. When I said I've called the city for the permit, they were like, "Where well, you gotta go? I gotta protect my." Then the other lady said, "I gotta protect my kids." For what? We come out here every single day, and then they, uh, my son is the only one that's crying and sad, but I'm being the aggressor. So I don't understand that. Then I got two police officers over here sitting, 
and they looking at me like I'm finna uh, uh, attack a kid. We don't have an issue with you, man. So they're just a little concerned because they man, that's crazy. Y'all, the the bad experience y'all giving me over no, no, over no, no. over you're, these you're uh, these 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 teachers that are acting like Karens, like I came out here and rest. You just won't interfere with anything they're doing. And we we didn't have no intentions. They came bothering us. Once the uh, police finally realized where the aggressive side of this was coming from, which was get the hell out of here because you don't belong here. The assumption was that they had the whole park. So it started as a misunderstanding, fine. Teachers misunderstood that they thought they had the entire park to themselves for whatever permit they had for a pavilion and a picnic table. And once they then see someone sitting there, the blinders go up and make you think, well, this guy can't possibly have any rights here because I think I do. Instead of going, let me think about this for a second. He's just here with his kids. He said previous to that in other parts of this video, other classes have shown up all week because they've been doing these types of trips from other schools as well. And he said he never had an issue. Other teachers, other students and other groups came and they saw this, this really weird thing at a park. They saw a father with his son and then they went, "Oh, that's pretty normal. It wasn't a 45 year old guy sitting there at the playground with no child with him rocking back and forth and watching. It was a father with his son. Now, yes, I would be freaked out. There's some, some guy sitting at the park waiting and looking at children. That's a problem. Let's talk about that. This guy has a kid on his lap. He said he comes there every day. He's been doing it since the kid was just starting to walk. I had similar experiences with my kid. There's normal routines you go with with your kid. Now, think about how much this, however old that kid is, three years old or so. And how comfortable he's gonna feel next time he shows up at that park now that he's seen this many cops show up and talk to his dad like this. In fact, here's the video of his dad showing how many cops eventually accumulated on this area. Again, over a permit that they were wrong about. Last video. You're fine, sir. We, we just wanna make sure everything's good to go. That's why we're here. Now look at this, I want y'all to see all this because me and my son wanted to go to the park, all it is. No, I did not take a video. I took it, I put my camera out over there. We can't make him delete a video. It's it's free to record. However, I would just say don't video any kids. Man, I, I don't parents, come out here to video my kid. I come out here to let my kid play. Yeah, I mean, it'd just be curious. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't have no intention of, of, of video on one of the kids. It's, it's okay, son. You live right around. No, it don't matter where I live. I come to the park every day. It doesn't matter. Look at look at all this. Look, more cops, y'all. More and more cops. This is what happened. We're trying to go to the park. So I just want to let it be known. Just let it be known. It's something you'll always see. Uh, and until the rest of society decides to stop being knee jerk and freak out and call someone aggressive, by the way, which they called them as well, aggressive and violent. I don't know if they said violent, but aggressive was definitely there with his kid. What do you think the type of response the cops might have when they show up? Does anyone pay attention to these stories when we see this all the time? If they do, apparently they think they're detached from it. Uh, one quick comment from Damian Walker on this particular topic. He says, it never stops being shocking. However many times I see it, what was his offense? Being quote, too urban in a residential zone? Possession of melanin with intent to supply? I mean, again, I'm sure people can dispel the uh, the race factor in this because there was a black woman there as well asking, them, asking him to leave. But uh, let's keep it real. Folks of any race can assume that a black person is up to no good because that's what society has taught us. So it doesn't just have to be someone of a different race that believes these things. We believe that a lot of times about ourselves, as long as it's not ourselves. It's someone else that looks similar to us, but like he must be up to no good. Look, he's with a three-year-old, you know what they do. I mean, not me, but you know what they do.